Alrighty, people. Tom's rant. Uh, this is... I don't know the date. <laughs> June... Well, I know Sunday was Father's Day. June... Uh, isn't that terrible? I don't know the freaking date. And I don't have my phone on me, so I can't look at it to see what the date is. I do have... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a calendar right here. This would be the 20th. Okay, Tom's rant. June 20th! Idiots in the White House! Uh, this is basically my view of uh, the economy. Well, everybody knows the economy is in a shitter. My personal opinion, I am not an economics professor. And if I was a Democrat, then I would just say the economy is great. But anyway, I honestly believe we're in a recession. Reason being is if you have two quarters of uh, growth, that drop, they automatically say that's a recession. Uh, the clown, uh, Sleepy Joe there, a uh, reporter said something to him, asked him, are we in a recession? And all he said, in response to that was, oh, you sound like a Republican. Well, Republicans are telling the truth, all right? Not like the Democrats, not like Biden. You know, Twitter, YouTube, and all that. Think about all the videos and tweets they took down because they said it wasn't facts. That's a lie. So YouTube lied. Uh, uh, Twitter and all those. They took down truth because they didn't like what people were saying. They even did that to me. I had two or three videos taken down because they didn't like what I was saying. Uh, look at gas prices. All right? So as soon as gas prices started going up, you figure the cost of everything went up, okay? Reason being is oil is used pretty much in all manufacturing process. If there's moving parts on equipment, that equipment needs grease. Yeah, you can use synthetic, but that's more expensive, obviously, than, uh, you know, regular old everyday grease. Uh, so anyway, I firmly believe we are in a recession. Uh, now, you talk about shortages, right? You have a baby formula shortage, which I don't think that has ever happened in the history of this country. So you got a baby formula. There's a plant in Michigan uh, that shut down, uh, that's part of the problem. But there was a plant, and they're giving it to all the illegals coming in, but there was a plant in Michigan, a uh, formula plant, that shut down because they found, supposedly, they found bacteria of some sort in the formula. <laughs> you know, our food chain is a joke. The government says, you know what, you guys can rely, you, you guys can police yourselves, okay? What do you mean police yourselves? They don't care. They're in it for the bucks. So now, you have the baby formula shortage, then the plant was going to reopen, and then they had to shut down again because of the bacteria. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, what the hell's the matter with this country? Other than being in a shitter and being run by Dems. So, in a way, gas is five, five ten, five fifteen a gallon here. You know, in Michigan, California, I think it's seven, seven and a half bucks. Uh, throughout the country, gas is just going through the roof. And of course, oh, that's Putin's fault. And Biden sent a letter to the oil companies saying you guys are making record profits at a time of war. Well, the problem with that is we are not at war. We are finally out of wars that we've been in through that we've been involved in for what the last 30, 40 years. We're always there's always a war going on. So how could Russia invading Ukraine do anything to us? We don't buy Russian oil. We don't buy Ukrainian oil. We buy our oil before what Trump was in, we didn't buy, well, very little, but we were exporting oil. 
So now he's down in Venezuela asking them their up production. He's going to go to Saudi Arabia and go, oh, please, Saudis, we need more oil. They're going to laugh at him because the guy's an idiot. And it's like the cost of producing oil, whether you've got to drill it from overseas or you drill it from this country, you're still using that oil. You're still polluting. The stock market took a beating last week, and it skated. Now, the stock market was strong when uh, uh, the election uh, shit was done. So when Biden took over, not elected, took over, when he took over the White House, you know, he stopped a whole bunch of things to screw the economy. So, I forgot where I was going with that. But anyway, uh, the economy is screwed. You know, you got a tampon shortage, right? Plugs. I always call them snatch plugs or snatch pads or plugs. So, you now have a tampon shortage. And you may ask yourself, well, why is that? Hmm. China. If you remember, when President Trump was in office, he was trying to stop the problem with China. Because we rely on China for way, way, way way too many things we rely on China. He was trying to stop that. So tampons, I'm not saying all of them, but they're made in China. Why are we importing plugs from China? You gotta be shitting me. You can't make that stuff here. And you know, this is also going to be a little bit of bitching about Americans lack of quality control workers who respect their job, who want to do a good job. You take all these freaking asshole people that don't want to work. I want to work, but I want the government to give me money. I don't want to have to actually work. All right? What the hell? This country used to be number one in production of many, many, many things. You know, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, we started losing it. You know, and before that. We made stuff here, and the stuff made in America was made with American pride. The workers, who basically were my age or older, they cared about their job, okay? In other words, they did it right. They didn't do it half-assed. My belief has always been, if you're gonna do it half-assed, don't do it, okay? Get your ass out, get somebody in there who will do a better job. A lot of that's the unions. Oh, catch some shit for that, but I don't like unions. I was in a union, was wrongfully terminated, and all they did was say, well, we'll get a change from uh, being fired to uh, unemployment so you can collect unemployment. Unemployment, I wasn't, uh, yeah. You know, I was pulling in back then, I was pulling in probably close to a grand a week or more, so they changed it, oh, okay, well, we'll lay off instead of firing and getting my job back. They wouldn't do that because the union sucks. So you're paying all those union dues, and what did I get out of it? Nothing. They just said, ah, collect unemployment. We'll call them up, and we'll get them to change it to, uh, you know, a layoff in, uh, instead of a firing. I wanted my job back. I was wrongfully terminated. But in a way, workers just don't give a shit in this country. You have, whether you want to call them millennials, uh, what's the new term? There's some BS new term now uh, for the latest ones. I know people who don't want to work who are, I guess, millennials or just before, they want the money, but they don't want to work for it. I have always taken pride in everything that I've done work-wise. If it's, give you an example. People don't want an example, they don't care. But anyway, when I worked at Lear Siegler uh, back when I was uh, 19, 20 years old, the foreman had me inspecting parts and doing a lot of other stuff that wasn't my job. Again, union, right? So he had me doing stuff that wasn't my job, and he had me inspecting parts. Uh, there are battery holders for uh, semis, the battery tricks. So I rejected a lot of them because they didn't meet my qualifications. Uh, but he said, ah, nah, they're all good. Um, that was kind of the start of, you know, everything going to the shitter. But anyway, American pride used to really mean something. Workers wanted the job, and they did a good job. I've been told, well, you're too much of a perfectionist. 
maybe, but my attitude is do it right. I don't care whether you're uh, a janitor, custodial worker, or whatever the hell they call it now, so many stupid names, but I used to clean offices and stuff. I owned my own company for a while uh, doing uh, you know, commercial uh, cleaning. Always did a good job. Even before I started my own company, when I worked for somebody, I always did a good job. If you're going to do it, do it, do it right, or just don't do it, okay? And that's the problem with all these young workers. They don't want to work and make, they want to make money, but they don't want to work. Eh, that's good enough. Now you have, getting back to the uh, economy being in the shitter, look all the car, you can't buy a new car or a new vehicle, but look all the vehicles that the car companies are producing that are sitting in lots or grassy fields. Uh, there's one right over here uh, just north of Flint. And the thing is loaded with pickup trucks from uh, GM that don't have chips. Where do the chips come from? China! Hey, didn't uh, President Trump say something about relying on China for chips and what have you? And you got to understand, those chips aren't just for cars. People think, okay, well, you know, cars are too expensive now. You have uh, dealerships taking advantage of people because there's no new cars, so they're charging a ridiculous amount of money for the used cars. There's a, a Chevy dealer down here on the corner, uh, M15 and whatever, and um, he just wants way too much for vehicles. There was a guy down further down on M15 that didn't raise his prices on his pickup trucks and all that. He kept them the same price. These are all used vehicles. He's almost sold out of everything. There is a Ford pickup at the Chevy dealer and obviously a bunch of GM junk too. And... They want so much money, that vehicle has been there, I believe, for over a year. Because they want too much money. And it's like, that's ridiculous, you know? Uh, it always is more about the economy and being a recession. But anyway, now you have uh, mice climbing up into the engine compartment of these vehicles, and they're doing damage to them. And my son's uh, Mustang... Uh, we picked it up, uh, you know, when he brought it back from Germany, we picked it up uh, at the uh, uh, um, I forget what it's called. But anyway, so we had to go there to uh, pick it up at the port. And uh, so anyway, one day we're driving and uh, I'm like, you know, I smell gas. And he says, so do I. So pop the hood in a mouse climbed up in the engine and chewed through the high pressure fuel line and caused the leak so I had to replace the whole rail. That's what the that's what's happening to all these vehicles that are just sitting in these fields waiting for chips to come in from China. So now all of those vehicles that they're gonna have to check every well, they should check every vehicle before when they put the chips in it and they send them to the dealerships. They should check all that to make sure there's no damage. But that's not going to happen. Everybody knows that. Will the vehicle start? Yep, it starts and runs. Okay, don't worry about the mouse damage, chewing through wires, fuel lines, or whatever else. As long as the vehicle's good to go, we don't care. American quality, right? And that's what's sad is the quality of workers in this country literally is in the shitter. Now, not all workers. There are workers out there that do the job and do it right. They take pride in what they're doing. Earn that paycheck. People don't want to earn the paycheck. They just want that money flowing in. We do a half-assed job. That's just, that's unacceptable. But then again, you go to a union and my mom happened to be work at Palmer Paints and she was a union rep and there was people there that should have been fired and she had to go to bat for them to save their job when they should have been terminated. So anyway, long story short, the company said, look, this is what we're going to give you. This is what the union is going to give you. You choose. So people voted the union out. Best decision they ever made. When unions first came out, they were good. So I don't want to hear any crap about unions. Uh, they needed them when they first came out. But in a way, when you have a shortage of tampons, you have a shortage of baby formula, 
shortages of everything. Look at look at the cost of food. You go to uh, uh, a fast food place for two people to eat. Okay, Taco Bell. Um, I get a number eight, which is uh, three of the local tacos. I like those because they're uh, salty. So you get three of those in a drink, and um, uh, in a five dollar box, seven dollar box, whatever it is. But anyway, you go to to, to uh, Taco Bell, and it costs you. 15, 17 bucks to eat. Burger King, I gotta applaud Burger King. They still have, now that's a true American company even though they moved their headquarters to Canada so they wouldn't have to pay as much tax. So you gotta give Burger King credit because they still have the coupons, at least in Michigan here, they still have the coupons to Whopper Combo Meals for eight bucks or nine bucks. Let's say nine, because I'm not sure if it's eight, and then they all say, oh, you two fact checkers that don't check the Democrats' facts. They can lie, do whatever they want. Uh, so i got to applaud Burger King. They may, I don't know how they're doing it. They can't be making a lot of money on those meals. But everybody else is jack the meals, you know, everything. You know, you know, if you do any kind of shopping, and it's just ridiculous the amount of money that everything is costing. And you have the White House... Sleepy Joe and all them other morons, Shifty Shift, uh, Pocahontas, uh, you know, Elizabeth Warren, her and Musk get into it all the time and it's rather amusing. She gets away with saying, oh, I have uh, part uh, Native American, so she got all kinds of things through her life, college and all that. By lying, that was a lie, she is not Native American, she has no Native American blood in her. But they let that slide because she's a Democrat. Shifty Shift, look all the lies that he's done. Even now at this uh, fake January 6th hearing crap. <laughs> what a joke. Shifty Shift is up there. I've got evidence. I've got evidence. He's the same idiot who said he had evidence against President Trump back when the whole Russian thing, oh, Trump works for Russia. That all turned out to be a fraud. And Shifty Shift was like, I have evidence. Positive evidence. Yeah. What happened to the evidence? You never, sh you never showed the evidence. So if you had evidence, you would show it, Shifty Shift. Well, you'll never watch this. As soon as Democrats start to watch it, I'm bashing them, so they're going to go, like, oh, this guy's an asshole. Your opinion, like I say, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And I know I'm an asshole. Michael knew he was an asshole. That's just the way we are. If you don't like it, tough shit. You know, we really didn't care. But in a way, it's ridiculous that the economy is in a shitter like this, and it's going to continually get worse, people, because the higher fuel goes, the worse the economy is going to do. And I, it's, it, it's mind-boggling that these states are still paying people unemployment. Now, i got to be honest with you, if I worked at the unemployment agency, I'd be a prick. I would say, even though it's all done over the phone, you don't have to go in, I would say, okay, this asshole here says uh, he tried these places for jobs. Well, you know what? I'm going to go drive through his area and see how many jobs are available at all the fast food places. Oh, guess what? I'm cutting off your unemployment asshole because, you know what? Burger King is hiring for 15 an hour or Taco Bell or whatever. That's ridiculous. You have restaurants that can't open six or seven days a week because they can't hire enough people. How crazy is that? You have Wendy's up here in uh, Birch Run over there. Their dining room is still closed because they don't have enough people because nobody wants to work. And it's like, it's all the free money that the government gave away. I'm making this too long. So I should cut it here. And uh, yeah, because I'm going to bash Amazon. So I'm going to cut this one right here. So I appreciate anybody that watches my videos. I'm up to 44,000. 787 views, which is incredible for only having 83 uh, uh, subscribers, <laughs> you know, so I'll never make any money. But anyway, I just appreciate anybody watching my videos. Uh, my top video is uh, my LS tractor when I first got it and I was pushing snow around. That's my number one video, and then uh, Stationary is a gaming video. I got to get more up there because... Uh, in a way, there's a game that just uh, that I've been playing for five years. Um, 
anyway, they finally released the uh, public version of it, so I don't have any of those videos up here. Uh, Imperium Galactic Survival, so I gotta do some videos for that for the gamers. But anyway, I really appreciate anybody watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up because that shows uh, YouTube uh, their uh, facts or their uh, uh, whatever the hell they call it. Um, makes your videos more popular the more thumbs up you get, basically, is what it is. So you just randomly the videos will pop up. So anyway, hit the little B in the bottom right hand corner. Hit the little subscription, the, hit the B in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe and hit the little bell to notify you every time I upload a new video. But anyway, I just appreciate anybody watching. I know this video was a little bit too long, but hey, what are you going to do? So, thank you. And vote Republican in November. Save this country. Get it back out of the shitter, people. Get this country back where it needs to be. You know? How about it? It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or Democrat. Why don't you do what's right for this country? And you have too many assholes out there, both Republicans, Democrats, that absolutely no way I'm going to vote Democratic. No way I'm going to vote Republican. Me, I, I kind of was always a Democrat. And then uh, when a Booba Baba took office, I'm like, I ain't voting for that guy. Because all he kept saying, change. I'm going to change. I'm going to change this country. Oh, he changed it all right. But nobody asked him, well, how are you going to do that? What are you going to do to change this country? Nobody asked. And look what happened. So, yeah, I didn't vote for him. Uh, I didn't vote for, well, obviously I voted for Trump both times. Uh, and I really doubt that I'll ever vote Democrat again, to be honest with you, because the, nobody out there is really running that's not full.